This video is a quick look at productive talk with instruction and connecting to Gen Z through video types of formative assessments. So video is where many Gen Z kids live today on a daily basis and we're just going to show how you can design instruction so that it has more authenticity and a sense of urgency for students to practice the parts that they are learning about. So as you read through the assignment that the teacher provides to the students, you can see that the directions are following the principle that less is more. Read through this and you can see that it hits four of the skills that we know 21st century learners need. Critical thinking, collaboration, oral and written communication, and the opportunity to take initiative. Students are partnered and provided with an iPad and given the directions. Students practice much more deliberately when they know that a videotaping will be taking place, especially with one peer. However, we're not doing the videoing in front of the entire class. That's not, this is the other guy's level. Inducer motor, pressure switch, hot cervix, and iron, and then gas valve. That takes some of the stress away for students, just working one-on-one. -on -one. You can see in this video of Elijah that he is practicing with the second year and multiple students before it's their turn to videotape one another, and he suggests that they use notes. It's a great moment when students understand that they are not knowing all of the things that they need to to complete the task. It raises their awareness of what you do and don't know. You can see in Kobe that he has a really good first run at the video and stumbles through a little bit but is able to uh, make his own corrections. Basically, you're going to start with the inducer motor. If the inducer motor doesn't start, then the whole system won't work. This, the inducer motor is this thing right here. Make sure the whole furnace gets going. That's what it's going to do. Starts the whole system, starts the whole process, really. And then you're going to go to the pressure. You can see in this video clip that the instructor is given an opportunity to show students deliberately what they do not know in the process rather than reteaching all of it he's able to work with each student as they try to make their own video and point out this is where you're stumbling or this is the process that you don't know glow. okay so i think we're going to start glowing 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 if everything is good the gas valve is going to open up send gas across that hot surface igniter and light the gas then the burners will work okay Another key component to this is having the students try to speak like a professional plumber. It's a great point in disciplinary literacy where you can separate do-it-yourselfers and their language and the expectations of a customer when a professional plumber or HVAC installer enters the house that the expectation is you're not going to say things like thing and part and you're going to be able to explain it using the expert vocabulary.